Hi, I'm Logan. This is the Prusa tutorial video. If you haven't watched the Machina tutorial video yet, please go and watch that first. So this is a video on how to use the Prusa printers at the shack. So your first step with the Prusa printers is going on to your uh, display here. And you're going to go in to preheat and click that. If you're printing in PLA, you can select PLA. Um, other materials are listed as well. If you preheat your printer and then decide you actually don't want to print, you can select cool down from the same menu. But we're printing PLA, so we're going to select that. Typically, it takes about five minutes to preheat. We had this preheating beforehand, so it's already ready to go. The next step is going to be trading out filament. So we have an orange roll in there right now. Uh, say we don't want that. We're going to go into the menu again and scroll down to unload filament. So that's going to spit out the old roll of filament that we have. So we can just take that guy off. And we have a new roll now, a nice roll of white. So what you're going to do is take the end of the filament and place it into the hole in the top of the printer. And you're going to go back to your menu and scroll down to load filament. And when you press that, the machine should grab your filament and start pulling it through. Now, it's going to continue pulling it through out through the bottom of the extruder and it's going to ask you, is the color clear? So what it's asking is, has it pushed out all the old filament? If the filament is still coming out as the previous color, you're going to hit no and keep pushing it out. Um, once you've done that, what you can do is check if your print bed is clean. So if your print bed isn't clean enough, it won't stick well. If it's a little dirty, what you can do is use the spray and cloth that we have and just give it a quick wipe down. All right. Additionally, if there's anything left over on it, you can scrape it off with a scraper. OK. So now our printer is set up to print. Uh, it's asking us if the color is clear. There is uh, white coming out. So yes, the color is clear. It is ready to go. The final step will be to remove your SD card from the printer and take it over to the computer where you can uh, create and load your G-code file for the print. And so we're going to show you how to do that right now. OK, so when you're setting up your 3D print, there are two software choices you can use. There is Prusa Control and Prusa Slicer Edition. So to access those, you can just go to the control panel and search them up. There's Prusa Control and there's the Slicer Prusa Edition. Now, the Slicer Prusa Edition is a bit more advanced, you have some kind of um, more control over your settings, but Prusa Control is the simpler one and usually does the trick about 90% of the time. So we're going to be going over this one. So you can just launch Prusa Control and it'll pop up. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do first is ensure that you have the right printer selected. So that is going to be right there. If you go through settings, you'll pop up and either the Mark II, the Mark II Multi-Material, or the Mark III. And then the nozzle variation, all of the ones we use are 0.4 millimeters, so it shouldn't ever be different than that. You should never have to touch that one. Um, now, what you're going to do next is get your file into Prusa Control. So it's the same as your Peche host. You're just going to drag and drop. So I've got that part on the desktop that I want, and it will deposit it in Prusa Control. Now, it's a little small. Prusa Control has a bad habit of shrinking files by a factor of 10 when they're designed in certain softwares. So I'm just going to go ahead and, using the scale button, increase it by a factor of 10 to 1,000%. And you can see it right there. So it looked pretty good. Um, this isn't the best way to print it, though. I think I'd like it flipped upside down. So you can control the orientation using these rotation buttons. There's the scroll bars, but uh, it can just sometimes be easier to type it in. 
There we go. So that looks like a better orientation. Now, what I want to do next is, if I want to print the second one, um, I can quickly do that by going to Edit, where I can copy and paste the part. So now I've got multiple copies of it side by side. Next, you're going to want to select your material, whether you're printing in PLA or ABS or anything else. So the Prusa varieties are the same as the generic. It doesn't matter. If you're printing in PLA, you can select Prusa PLA, ABS, um, and any other material. If you don't see it there, you can come talk to um, a shack expert. So I'm going to pick Prusa PLA for this guy. Um, in terms of quality, normal usually does the trick. Um, it's also the quickest if you're printing a part that is very, very small maybe, or um, you want higher detail on it, uh, just visually, you can pick optimal or detail. But for this guy, we're just going to go with normal. And then infill, anything between 20 to 10% is standard. Um, anything more and you start running into some problems with thermal deformation. So we're just going to pick standard. And then support material, you can include if you want. Um, this object does not need support material, so we won't, but you can either choose to build support material only from the build plate or everywhere. But this guy doesn't need that. So we're going to hit none and we like the look of our parts. So next we're going to hit generate and this will create the G code. Okay. Now it will give us a time estimate and a filament length estimate. So make sure you've loaded enough filament and booked enough time uh, for it to complete the print. You can view all the layers using this little scroll bar here and everything looks to be good. So I'm going to hit save decode. Now you should insert your SD card into the computer and when you hit save, it'll typically pull up the SD card on its own. If not, you're just gonna have to go through and select it. This one you can see is called Prusa Prints. So now I'm just gonna hit save also, you want to remember the name, maybe name it something memorable because you'll have to select it later on the printer. Uh, we've already printed this one before, so it already exists in the SD card, but I'll just hit uh, save again, to overwrite it. And you're going to want to wait for the save bar to fill all the way up. And there we go. You're good to remove your SD card and take it back to the printer for printing. Okay, so now that you have your print file saved on your SD, you can go ahead and put it back into the machine, which should be preheated and waiting for you. Then you're going to go into your menu and scroll down to print from SD. And from there, your file should be the first one at the top. If not, you can look for it by name. And once uh, you see it, you can just click and it will start the process for the print. If it isn't fully heated, it'll take another second. This one is good to go. So you can see it's starting the print. And what it's going to do is it's going to calibrate on nine different points on the bed. It's going to print a rim around your object and then it's going to start printing the object. So we recommend that you stay for the first layer or two just to make sure everything's working okay. And then once that is over, you can come back uh, when the print is supposed to be done and pick it up from the machine. And the process for removing your print is the same as the uh, machina printers. You're just going to use your scraper or your hands to try and remove the object. And that's how you print with the Prusa printers.